for Heartwatch, and this is... I'm Morgan from White Sea. Um, thank you so much to Morgan for agreeing to do this to me. This is Babes, Bangers, and Burgers, where we talk about music over hamburgers with badass women in the music industry. So thank you guys for coming. Let's talk about this burger. This is from Bacon Bacon, and we've been dying to eat this, and it's just waiting here in front of us. It's got bacon, cheddar cheese, and obviously hamburger. I'm gonna, you know what I'm going to do, though? I'm going to open face it. Yeah, you got to open face sometimes. I did not understand that I didn't have to rely on a male producer to do my work until my boyfriend at the time turned to me and he was like, well, you can't afford it, so why don't you just figure it out? And I was like, oh my God, why did I? It's like crazy, right? I'm a smart woman. Yeah. How the fuck did I not think about that to that begin makes, with? That, that it's not even about sexism. It is literally just, it's just not a part of our cultural conversation to encourage women to be in charge and to be the boss. So it's not even about feminism. It's just, it's as, as simple as just being like, do it. And guess what? It takes a lot of work, so get to work. It was probably one of the most rewarding experiences. It was like, oh shit, I get to just do what feels right for the scene and I get to work and I get to be in partnership with the director and I get to, um, and it's not about me. You know, being a music, like a solo musician or a band is incredibly selfish. It's all about like, oh, what's my vision? What do, what do I want to communicate? And when you're working in film or you're working with another artist as a producer or a writer, it's like, no, what it is that you want to communicate and how do I fit into your vision? I had worked with Eva Husson, who was uh, an alumni at AFI, and we had done her thesis films together, and then she was scoring her first film and asked Anthony from MBD3 to do the score, and then she played him my music, because I was dabbling in music at the time, and he was like, oh, I really want her voice on, you know, on my sc score. So you actually met him through her? I met him through her, exactly, yeah. And then I, you know, the rest is history. I kind of spent the last eight years with M83 writing and singing and playing. And I think one feeds the other. So my continued creative exploration and curiosity about other artists and uh, why obviously White Sea is a priority. I mean, like, of course, I would love to be... You know, Florence is like probably one of my idols. I think she's just absolutely exceptional. And I love that people accept her for making the kind of music that doesn't necessarily fit on every playlist, you know? I think she makes a very particular kind of music and I love that. But I think that in 2016, like you have to be very realistic about what the music landscape is. And I feel like people are very fickle. So, um, so for me, I just want to make music, ultimately. It's like not about anything else. I, I watched this interview with you where you talked about how you released your music um, and kind of had sort of like the food element to it. And you had this like per really interpersonal thing. And I think that's something really special um, that you don't see a lot is, you know, we all get wrapped up in the social media and kind of trying to like push, push, push. I hate it. I hate it. You and I connecting today. Yes. We'll make music together. There's Absolutely. No in my mind. Yeah, but that's like, but that's not a given normally. Right. It's like a lot of a lot of the bullshit that comes along with doing social media and interviews and all this. It's just not real. Right. It's like this false advertising for. There's a lot of questions that you get asked over and over again, and the, actually the impetus for this entire kind of project was, what's it like to be a woman in music? And I yeah. think that you agree it's like it's very frustrating to get that question because the underlying implications are so like it's just like oh would you ask that about any you know I had somebody ask me I had an interview recently where somebody asked me what's it like to be the only woman in a band of all men and I was like it's just the same as being a person being a woman I think the main the main thing that I want to show is that there's actually women doing awesome things and being independent and and doing it Ultimately, we're in charge. Yeah. You and I are in charge. It's really nobody else is in charge. It's how we decide to talk about it. Right. So if you want to bring power to that and have it not be about pitting people against each other, right. oh, how do we really shift this so that we're being encouraging, loving, and supportive of a community of women who want to go want to and, and mix records <laughs> and thing. produce do records and be uh, orchestrators and uh, uh, composers? You know, it's like... 
just talk about it more. Yes. And which is why this is awesome. I know. And if we can show that there's women who are like on their own and independent and producing, then it will be you'll be a role model for other women. I think that's the most important thing is not I about think you're deciding to talk about it in a way that's not generic. So thank you for that. Well thank you, Morgan. Yeah. <laughs>